Your Philadelphia Phillies have won or tied eight straight series two to one today at Anaheim. Ricky Vitalico, I'm Michael Barkan, John Crook in a moment as we welcome you to Phillies Post Game Live presented by Cure Auto Insurance. Ricky Bo, 21 wins, 11 losses, 21 wins is the most wins in Major League Baseball, and their win percentage is second only to the Atlanta Braves. The Braves have three games in hand right. on the Phillies. But the bottom line is, it's impressive, Ricky Bo. impressive. It's very impressive. I mean, you're winning games left and right. And I think what, what is the most impressive thing about this, if you watch this game today, you would not have said everybody played their A game. You know, you have it's just like a grade point average, A, B, C, D, or F. I would have said the Phillies played about a C-minus game today and still came out on top. Is it, doesn't that say a lot about a baseball team? If you're playing your average, uh, just an average game for you, for your team, and you come out on top, I think that's always a bonus. I mean, we're, we're going to see some stinkers throughout the year. There's no doubt about it. That's just the way baseball is. You play 162 games. How many A games are you going to play? How many B, C, D, F games are you, are you going to play? Obviously, you look at a team like the Chicago White Sox, it's a complete flip-flop of the Philadelphia yeah, Phillies. Sure it is. But this, this Phillies team is good. And, and the reason why I'm saying that is they have different guys that can pick them up every single night. You saw Soto there in the ninth inning. I mean, you don't think that ball went up? You don't think his heart was beating a little bit? Yeah, because that, that's tacking on runs. That's a ball game that's, in, that's out of his hands at this point. And I've been in that situation before where you give up that ball and you're like, oh, please, just stay in the ballpark. Give me a break. Wind, wind, where are you? <laughs> Help but me. It's one of those things. It stayed in the ballpark. It turns out to be – it turns into a win for the Phillies. And that's all that matters. They are winning series. You brought that up right away. And I feel like I'm going to go on and on because I'm, I'm – You're that I'm, pumped. I'm, in, I'm enjoying what this team is doing right now. Same here. And so is John Cruck. Let's check in with Johnny. He is out in Anaheim called this afternoon's game, of course, with Tom McCarthy. John, when you look at what this team – has been doing and the fact that as Ricky said they were I mean you know they were good they were fine uh, they got their early runs in the second inning and then they they basically held on and if uh, maybe if Anaheim were a different kind of team it might have turned into extra innings or heaven forbid a loss but this is a different Philly squad they can give them the stiff arm and hold them off yeah they the the, the thing about the Phillies they can pitch well and keep another team down at which uh, you know, only giving up one run today to the Angels, but and, and then they can they can score runs and beat people if it's a if it's a, if it's a high scoring game. They 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 find ways to win, and it doesn't matter if you win by ten or one. It's the same result at the end of the day. It's a W in the in the column, and uh, you know that's what makes this team so much fun. Because you come to the ballpark every day, and you never know what you're going to see. They they're going to be tattooing the ball over the ballpark or striking out 16 times but winning two to one that take either one you know I'm, I'm watching Zach Wheeler today and he really didn't have his put away stuff I think that's a, a fair thing to say but I mean you look down at his numbers he goes five innings five hits one run that would be a good day for a lot of pitchers in this league but I think <laughs> the one thing that kind of stuck out to me is 106 pitches by him in just five innings. That, that to me, is not a Zach Wheeler-esque game. Am I right in what, what I'm uh, watching today? Yeah, absolutely, Rick. He wasn't sharp at all. Uh, and, and like you said, though, he had to battle through the five innings, Had a lot, ran a lot of deep counts, three, two counts. And like you said, he, he couldn't put guys away like he normally does. Uh, and he even told us, you know, that, that his last start, he wasn't, he wasn't sharp at all either in his last start. And, you know, hopefully these are the, uh, you know, the two starts that, uh, you know, if he gets 32 starts or whatever, hopefully these are two two of the bad ones he gets out of the way now and still gets wins. So I, I think that's all that matters to him. He doesn't, he doesn't care about, uh, uh, you know, racking up strikeouts and all that stuff. He's just trying to win games for this team. And, uh, you know, he got another one here today. John, how much does this go into it? And I don't know if it's you or Tom or Ricky in the pregame talking about the extra day's rest that Zach Wheeler had and that he did not want it. He, he get, gets a little bit annoyed. He, he wants to go on schedule. Could that have been a reason that even though his ERA, by the way, went down 1.91, <laughs> for goodness sake? Yeah, <laughs> It's a tough league, Michael. I mean, you know, when, when it, you know, I, look, I, I know that he, I know Aaron and others, you know, they, they, they have a routine. They like to, to stay in that routine, like every five days, give them the ball. 
And, uh, you know, it's going to be interesting to see how it moves forward with, with uh, you know, the, the six starting pitchers to, to and Rob Thompson trying to juggle, like, how he's going to use that. And I know they have an off day tomorrow, and, uh, you know, Zach might get pushed back another day. But, uh, you know, I, look, here's, here's the thing. You know, he's, he's the ace of the staff. And, you know, I, I think personally, my personal thought is if, if the ace of the staff comes to me and says, look, I want to pitch every five days, I can't go every six or seven because it messes up my routine, then you know what? I'm giving him the dang ball every five days. If that's what he wants, give it to him. But uh, you see how it goes for, uh, you know, moving forward with the six starters. I, I completely agree with you. And you mentioned six starters. We saw what Spencer Turnbull did yesterday. There's no uh, way he's leaving the, the rotation, is there? You can't, you can't sit this guy. I, you know, the guy's, what, fourth or fifth in the league in ERA, and, and they're talking about maybe piggybacking him with someone. I, I'd – and like I said, it, it, they have a tough decision, and they, they probably have a decision that no other team in baseball has. Like, like how do we get our starters innings? Yeah. Uh, you know, yeah. it, it just doesn't happen. I mean, t- teams are trying to re- limit their relievers. We have to try to figure out a way to limit our starters somehow. And that, uh, that's a good problem to have, but it's also a pain in the neck when you're trying to make them all happy. Think about those starters. It's unbelievable. Wheeler and Nola and Ranger. You say Wheeler's the ace. Ranger might be the ace. I, I don't know. Yeah. Then you got Turnbull. Then you got Walker coming to play. It's, it's, it's unbelievable. All right, buddy. We'll check you uh, very, very soon as right. the team See returns you here. You too. Saturday. Saturday. See you Saturday. Safe home. But why would you run to your left? Don't Why, make no you're sense. just going to run, run away? Doesn't make any sense. No, it doesn't make any sense, but it turned into it turned into a big hit for the Phillies, and it counts. All right, how about the manager of this Phillies? My goodness, this guy is going to be like the greatest manager ever for the Philadelphia Phillies. By you're the going over Charlie's also. head? No, I'm not going over Charlie's head, but I'm just looking at wins and losses and how quickly he's gotten to where, not even hitting to where he is. Oh, that's right. That's right. We'll, uh, we'll now hear from Rob Thompson postgame. What did you think of the way that a couple of your pitchers battled today didn't seem to have their best stuff? Yeah, um, yeah, Wills wasn't quite as sharp as he normally is. Uh, high pitch count, 27 pitches in the first thing. Every, every inning seemed like a high pitch count, but, uh, but he grinded through it. A lot of 3-2 counts, a lot of foul balls, um, which drove the pitch count up, but he grinded through it. I, I thought it was huge in the, I think it was the fifth. Runner got to third base, nobody out, and he got out of it. And then in the ninth, they had first and third with one out, and uh, and Soto got out of it. So uh, I thought our bullpen was really, really good. Does Zach say anything throughout the course of the game, like I'm just not feeling my secondary pitches no. or anything? Like that? No, 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 not to me. And I usually don't ask him about that stuff. I just ask him how they're doing. What do you make of the, they fell off 25 pitches? Yeah. Like, what do you make of that? Is it just like? You know, he didn't have the finish he normally does, or yeah, is that probably, that? probably, and they are that way, but probably a combination of both. Of them, I think. Yeah. yeah. Guys struck out 18 times. Yeah, it's a lot. Just, I mean, it looked like a combination of both looking and swinging. Yeah, nine and nine. Yeah, I haven't seen that for a while, but uh, and I don't know, I don't know what to attribute that to, but uh, I guess people are making perfect pitches on us. So. The the single up the middle that Schwarber hit to drive in the two runs did that was weird. Oh, okay, I was wondering if you I had don't feel on that. I don't know. I don't know what happened, but I don't know whether he anticipated the ball being there or it took a bad hop and, and went behind him or what. But I, that was that was strange. Yeah, it really was. What did you think of him in the field today, Schwarber? He was fine. I thought he moved around pretty good. Actually, you know, he made the one catch on the on the uh, sinking line drive. Um, yeah, I thought he was running good. And Murrayfield starting to do some things at the bottom of the order as last yeah. handful starts? Yeah. How big is that? Starting to swing the bat, you know, and that's him. He's going to have good at bats, grind out at bats, gets two st- two strike base hit to right. You know, he's, just, he's, he's a baseball player. Seven out of ten on, on the trip. You've got to be. I mean, what, what do you, are you? You know, how pleased are you with how they're playing? I'm really happy with how they're playing. They're grinding. You know, this today wasn't our best day, uh, offensively, or you know, it wasn't Wheels' best day. But we grinded through it, and, and that's what you got to do. You got to win those types of games when you when you're not at your best. So, 
Uh, I think the day off is coming at a perfect time, and then we'll get it going again on Friday. Oh, and Hoffman was unavailable, that's why. Yeah, yeah. Did you know there was an earthquake? I didn't. I didn't Chris was telling me. He said the, the uh, press box was shaking. I didn't feel it. I didn't feel yeah. it. Second row, you could feel it. <laughs> well, yeah, I, I had no idea. What was the conversation with the uncle in the night thing? Well, Jack. Wash came out to talk to Adele, and like, okay, what? I mean, pitch timer, you know, should get a strike, but he had called timeout of him. Okay, that was his timeout. They felt the earth move out in Anaheim. Uh, it was an earthquake, but it was also the Philadelphia Phillies with a 2-1 win. How about this? When you're going as good yeah. as the Phillies are, and he's asked, Rob Thompson asked about 18 strikeouts by his hitters. Like, he's yeah, like, yeah, that's, that's not good. That's, that's not good. It's a shame. I don't, I don't, he said, I don't know where those came from. They must have made some really nice pitches. I don't, I don't know about that. I don't know about that. I mean, we all know Nick Castellanos chases outside the zone. He had four of those strikeouts. And it's kind of weird. I just went and circled the outs that the Phillies didn't make via the strikeout. And there's only eight circles on that paper right there. Um, that's uh, pretty impressive. That's, yeah. that's hard to do uh, from the Phillies' point of view. And obviously, it's not what you want. Those are all unproductive outs. You, you get 27 outs in a game, you're going to sit there and say 18 of them were strikeouts. Those are non-productive outs. Yeah. Nothing's happening during, during those outs. So they got to be a little better in, in that sense. And I, I second, well, I, well, he seconded kind of what I said, that it, they didn't play their A game today by any stretch of the imagination. I mean, you look at the game, Phillies were two for seven with runners in scoring position. That's like, okay, whatever. You know, it's, it doesn't feel that way. Yeah, it, it was does. just like a whatever game. They scored enough to win the game, and then you just want to move on from this one. That's what I really feel like. I mean, you, you they dodged it, a bullet. It, there. It, it could be worse. You look over on the other side, uh, and the Angels left 11 men on base. 0 for, 0 for 10 with runners in scoring position. But they're the Angels. They're not well, the I'm just saying. Phillies. There, there's a huge difference between these two teams, and I think the Phillies let them off, a, off the hook a lot. Mm -hmm. You know what? Bang, bang plays. You never get upset at this. But, but you like the fact that they did send them. That would have been a great insurance run to have. If they, they didn't get it. Let but, me put it this way. If they score there, how satisfied would you have been? You would have been like, wow, how yeah. about that hustle? All the way from second. It would have been one of our storylines. Absolutely. Insta Absolutely. Instead, you're sitting here saying, well, it was a bang, bang play. I look at it this way. I look at it. Well, he was hustling. He got a good jump off of second base. You know what? Hey, he's out. Sometimes that happens. Guess who else is out in front of his locker? Wheels. Wheels. Zach Wheeler. Post game. Today, kind of a battle for you. Uh, sure. Yeah. What, what do you? Um, why? What fell off today compared to usual for you? Everything. Like every pitch, or? Yeah. Was it continuation from the past few? I remember in Cincinnati last week, you were happy with kind of you know a lot of deep counts. Same type of thing happening. Um, I think it was more just routine this time. Um, you know, having more days rest, just not being as sharp. I think that's part of it. They fell off 25 pitches. Yeah. I mean, what do you. This command wasn't at the best today, and I'm sure that was part of it. Do you get satisfaction from being able to minimize? More than no, more I get nothing out of that. I got a win for the team, but just forget about that one, I guess. When, so it, when you do have the extra day of rest, I mean, what does that do to you? I mean, does it, it just takes you off your rhythm? Or? I mean, some some points in the season you probably need it, but yeah, I mean, it's just another day of trying to keep that rhythm that I've had going and working on certain things, and uh, just another day to try to keep it in in sync. So, is your frustration kind of a cumulative thing over the past two or three? Is that, I mean, is it building? I guess you could say because. You have high expectations for yourself. Uh, no, I mean you're gonna have rough patches. Mm -hmm. um, can't be good, you know, all the time. So um, you're gonna have rough patches, and you just have to battle through it. It's part of pitching in the big leagues. It's hard, and um, you know, just gotta just gotta fix it. And I feel like I've done a better job. Um, you know, my velos went up. Now, just like I said, I've said it the past few times, just trying to get the command a little bit better. And um, today was just a little more difficult. About the just going seven and three on this road trip, six games on the yeah. West Coast. That's always tough. great. Yeah, um, great road trip for us. And uh, like I said, seven and three is, is pretty good. So hopefully we can uh, continue 
that when we get home and um, yeah, just keep riding that wave. You got a couple off days coming up. Uh, first two, I think, in the first nine days of May, so you might be getting an extra day here or there too. Is yeah. that a concern? Um, I think it's just more of when you have the days when you are here at the field and all that and you're throwing and all that type of stuff when you just take a complete day off. I feel like it doesn't affect you as much. There was apparently an earthquake. You didn't feel it. I don't know. No, I have no idea. I have no idea when it happened or that it happened. So. Yeah.